Welcome back once again everyone. Uh, I'm Matt and uh, today I'm going to be playing a little more Technic, uh, Technic Minecraft. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful day outside. Uh, new Dawn has come upon us. There's a zombie over there. Uh, last time I told you I was going to go caving, do a little bit of caving. You might notice that there's some things that are different. You notice some, that, some weird ass trees in front of me. Um, notice that there's a lot more waypoints everywhere. I did a little exploring. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, basically, this world is enormous, and diamond is a lot more rare. So I'll just show you what I got. So this is my chest of ores and gems. You can see a lot of iron, a uh, lot of iron, uh, some silver, some gold, tungsten. Uh, which, from what I understand, is good for nothing, but it's very rare and very valuable. Some tin, some various rare gems, some apatite, which I still don't understand what does. Copper, uranium, uh, plenty of uranium for when I someday decide to uh, decide to make a nuclear reactor. I'm gonna put my sticky resin in there. I'll I'll tell you about that in just a second. Um. And I'm just going to toss all this crap that keeps ending up in my inventory into this chest. I don't want any of this. One coal. I got one coal here. I'm going to grab that out. Alright. So let's talk about some stuff. Uh, so first off, I went, I went caving and I dug up probably the entire world. And basically I was just looking for diamond. Because I know the most important first step in... Um, in Technic is to basically have a lot of ore, which I which I managed to get, and a lot of diamond. You need diamond to do things. And so uh, I was looking for diamond and I finally found some after hours and hours and hours of searching. Not really hours and hours and hours. More like two or three. But that's, that's longer than I would have otherwise intended. Um, so these trees are rubber trees. Um, you tell they're rubber trees because they've got like that little nipple on top. See how those leaves just stick up like two or three past what they're supposed to. I kind of trimmed the leaves off of a few of them because um, I don't I don't like the leaves. See how they've got these little these little drips on the side. If you right click on those, it gives you these. They look like weird cookies. I know this from watching too many YouTube videos. There's another one. Oh god, I hear a spider. Oh, where is he? I hear him to my left, but I don't see him. Oh god, he's... It's like he's everywhere. Oh well, maybe he's not... Maybe he's not a malignant spider. Alright. <clears throat> These waypoints, I might have to turn them off because there's so many of them that it's just frustrating. Get some more of this sticky resin. Um, is, that's what it's called. It's called sticky resin. Basically what you do is you take it... Oh. And you... Um, whoa. My, key, my keys are frozen. Okay. Um, I don't know why the, the sticky resin kind of shoots out the side of the tree. Um... I'm pretty sure IRL when you when you milk a, a rubber tree. Oh look, another one. Uh, I don't think that's the technical term, milking a rubber tree. Um, but when it, when you when you have a rubber tree, generally it doesn't shoot its rubber at you or its resin rather. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it's more of a, a slow process. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the sticky resin in here. But some things that we need to do right now. So I got a mother load of iron in this chest. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this iron. I'm going to stick it back in the chest. And um, I'm going to put some coal in the bottom. And you're thinking, Basta, what the hell are you doing smelting iron from iron? Well, here's the thing. So these are just regular iron ingots. What you get out of it is refined iron. And basically, it's... It's, bit, it's, it's just a more expensive version of iron. Um, the tax that the man puts on you in order to uh, to piss you off, frankly. Uh, it pisses me off that I have to pay this, this iron tax 
tax on something that should be rightfully mine, and and that thing is um. Um, that thing, namely, oh, why, why can't I grow this? Oh, might be. I guess there's not enough sunlight. Whatever. Um, the tax imposed by the mod creators uh, to make me miserable, frankly. I, I don't think there's any other reason. Uh, and you know what? I don't, I don't really like it. I don't really like it at all. So, I planted all these trees. I got all this rubber. I went. I got all these ores. The question is, now what? Well, that's, that's a damn good question. Because, frankly, I'm a noob at this game. I don't really know. So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get a, a crafting recipe book. Because there doesn't seem to be the technic version of... Uh, the Minecraft wiki. So I'm gonna put on my put on my iron sword. Um, by put on, I mean take out. Kind of stick it in the holster that I have at my waist. And we're we're gonna go exploring. Not too far though. Um, not as far as I'd been previously. And what we're looking for is some sugarcane. So sugarcane is how you make a book. And we're just gonna we're gonna go and we're gonna kill a squid afterward once we've found some sugar cane. We're gonna kill a squid and we're gonna squirt its ink sac all over the book. Oh look, another rubber tree. That would have been helpful about yesterday ago. We're gonna squirt his ink all over the book and it's gonna make a, a crafting recipe book. And uh, that's going to be helpful because it's going to tell us how to make all of the things that we want to make. Uh, because, obviously, um, you just kind of stomp, you stomp on the, on the squid ink, and it just, it just sprays out. It's like that one episode of Spongebob where he paints Mr. Krabs' house, and, and they've got the paint bubble, and the paint bubble kind of explodes but it doesn't get on anything except the walls and then there's like one tiny speck of paint on Mr. Krabs first dollar and then in the end it turns out oh, I guess I shouldn't ruin it for you if you've never seen that episode of Spongebob I'm not going to ruin it but let's just say uh, the ending was hilarious one way or the other um, that's basically how it is uh, except we don't care if we get, uh, we don't really care if we get a bunch of paint all over our book, so long as we can read it. Uh, because we're not as temperamental as Mr. Krabs is, and it's not our first dollar that we're talking about, it's just, it's just some crafting recipes. Have you ever seen a cookbook? Usually it's covered in, like, bits of food. Um, I know my cookbooks are covered in bits of food, and the reason is, is because I really don't give a shit. You know, when I'm cooking, I say, you know what? I'm going to get some flour on this, and I'm going to get some butter on it, too. And then, maybe someday, um, maybe someday I'm going to have to read it, but then I'll just buy another cookbook. That might be, that might be like, how the, the cookbook industry sustains itself. You ever think about that? Think to yourself, I wonder if they intentionally make the pages get greasy. Oh, I found some oil, by the way. This is a lot of oil. From what I understand, it, when the oil kind of squirts out of the ground, that means it's a lot of oil, and the higher it squirts, the more oil there is. This is probably the most oil, I'm just going to go swimming in it a little bit, the most oil that I think I've ever seen, ever, um, in any YouTube video, just in general. That's, that's it. Um, it's starting to get dark, and I still haven't found any stupid sugar cane. So I'm just going to head back. Uh, I'm going to give up this hunt. Um, I'm going to toss my optimism to the wind. My optimism for finding some delicious, tasty sugar cane. Um, sugar cane, which will ultimately end up as the binding for my, for my recipe book. Uh, the one that I'm going to get butter and bits of flour on. 
and effectively ruin. I'm gonna ruin it. Uh, oh, look at that torch just lighting my way. Oh god, there's so many spiders. I don't understand this guy. Oh god, there's a creeper too. Oh, he blew up the spiders, I think. Oh, that's not a bad thing. Oh god, there's another one. I don't even care if they blow up. You wanna know why I don't care? Because I'm like a honey badger. Oh, Basta don't care. God, there's so many freaking mobs out. All I want to do is just go home. I wish there was like a way to teleport without using ender pearls. That's a really inefficient way of traveling ender via ender pearls because you just die. Oh my god! I need some. Oh, I didn't even close my door. How careless am I? I can be like the worst homeowner in the entire world someday. I can go out into the real world. My parents are gonna be like, oh that Matthew. And they're gonna say he can't, he doesn't even close his own front door, and you know how is he gonna be ready to take care of himself? What's he gonna do with his life? And you know what the answer is probably j get robbed. That's exactly what's gonna happen. So it's nighttime. I'm just gonna have a little sleep. Oh Jesus! Oh, this is gonna take forever to sleep. All right, I'm just gonna cut this video and then we'll. I'll, I'll see you in a few seconds. Alright, and we're back. Um, I didn't... You know, I, I don't want to seem like I'm destroying our viewer content producer trust here, but I went ahead and I... I just went looking for the sugar can. I said to myself, Self, my, viewer, my viewers really don't care. They don't want to see you pissing around looking for sugar cane. So we're just going to go... We're going to go find it for them, and went... Maybe some of them will be pleased by it. So that's what I did. Um, there, I didn't encounter any mobs. Uh, I, I literally just came right here. Actually, I did encounter a mob. There was a spider waiting for me in the snow. And I, I, I just iced them. Just took... Oh, God, there's sugar cane over there. I didn't even need to go this far away. Little did I know. I didn't even realize. Uh... Yeah, I iced the spider. I got like 3 XP. It's snowing here. This is where the spider was. I saw a skeleton, but he was so far away that I I, I didn't even care. Uh, here's the pit. From last time, it's basically all caved out. Um, all of the good resources have to some extent been exhausted. So we don't really care about them. We're just gonna pretend like they're all gone. Um, maybe someday we'll dig a quarry. In fact, that's one. Of, that's that's probably going to be our first task. We need more diamond, and the fastest way to get diamond, particularly this early in the game, is is to start a quarry. So that's what we're going to do. So, oh god, I don't have an ink sack, do I? Got a bunch of sugar cane. Oh, I put it away already. Oh, I was going to turn it into paper. You need three pieces of paper. Oh, well, I only need one of those. Uh, paper, paper, paper. So we have a book. Um, gonna put that away. Gonna put some mushrooms away. Got snowballs right now. Don't need this rubber wood. Don't really even need the regular wood. Let's go ice a squid. Right? This guy's. He doesn't even know what's coming to him. This is like. You ever hear like gangbangers that. You know, as part of their initiation, they drive around with their lights off, you know, like on a highway. And then the first person to... The first person to flash their lights at them, they go and they kill. That's like their initiation. That's kind of what we're doing. We're, we're going out and we're riding out into this horrible weather. It's frankly, disastrous weather. This is really putting a kink in our, in our plans. Um... We're finding a squid. The first squid that we come across. Oh my god, look at Look at this. It's like a ravine uh, in the middle of the water. Oh, we should explore that someday. Um, I'd make a waypoint, but I, I really don't care enough. Someday, I'll, if I ever come across it again. We don't want to make our to-do list too high. But yeah, we're going we're gonna to find this squid. And... He's going to flash his lights at us, and by lights, I mean his 
gaping with horrible mouth. And once we see that, we're just going to go in for the kill. Uh, as you can see, another another oil pit. Um, this one has a lot of oil kind of towards the surface. Someday, perhaps, we'll come in and drill it all out. There's some more oil over there, if you can't tell by that. And there's some more oil over there. So basically, we've got four big sources. Oh, there's a squid. Look at him flashing his little horrible mouth. Right over there, uh, I, I had kind of emerged from that crevasse. I found a lot of ores and my inventory was full and I just needed to get the hell out of there. There was a, a mine system, abandoned mine, and I was like, you know what? I don't, I'm not going to deal with this. There's going to be cave spiders, I'm ill-equipped, I have no armor, and you know what's going to happen? I'm going to die. And that's the last thing I want to do. So I kind of tunneled my way up like a pro, and by pro I mean new. And once I was out of there, uh, you wouldn't believe what happened. I emerged in the middle of the lake, like like this, except it was water and not ice. And I emerged in the middle of the lake, and a creeper had been swimming around. He went for a swim. I didn't even see him. He was behind me. And by the time I was able to, before I was even able to get my bearings, he blew the hell up. I, I don't even, can you even believe that? It's, it's, un, it's unimaginable. So, I'm actually considering turning creepers off just because, um, in, in vanilla Minecraft, you don't carry around a whole lot of valuable stuff. You might have like a diamond pick, you might have some enchanted items. For us, we don't really have any of those things. Our valuable stuff is, is more valuable because uh, we're going to be crafting it. It's going to be machines. Oh, God, how do I... All right, hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause this, and I'm just going to look up what the recipe book is. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, apparently, we just wasted our time. Um, there's no more recipe book. What we're going to do is we're going to come in here, we're going to turn any eye back on, and we're going to, I guess it's in recipe mode, we're going to go, we're going to use this to find what we want to build, oh Jesus Christ, oh there's bees, oh I saw a bunch of these guys, maybe we'll see them someday, pyramid boss, oh my god this is horrifying, enderman spawners, cave spider spawners, oh god, goblin, I saw a goblin. I don't even want to recount this tale. Spider boss. He looks enormous. Um, volcano worm. Swamp worm. I saw one of the, the one of the swamp worms. I don't want to talk about it. Golem. Didn't see them. Um, BD horse. Don't don't know what that is. Polo. Didn't see it. BD dog. Don't know. Don't know what it is. Anyway, I'm here for a specific reason. Uh, energy collector. Biomass. Uh, tin gear. Bees. I'm not going to do anything with bees. Probably. Um, Alright, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the rest of the materials together ne that are necessary for generators, extractors, macerators, um, and whatever else, and then once once I get that together, we'll build some shit, and you guys will love it. So I'll see you in a few minutes. So I, I just, you know, just to pop back here for a second, um, I just realized that this does this isn't too many items where you can click on it and give yourself items. Um, it's just recipes. Didn't know that. So uh, I guess you learn something new every day. Um, but when you click on these, it doesn't doesn't fill up your inventory with cheaty items. So uh, this is this is really helpful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, find that stuff still, but um, I'm very pleased, actually. So, um, see you guys in a few seconds. Okay, here we are, back again. Just built a little giant fence, a little giant fence around uh, that little platform I made in the back. Um, got some sticky resin there. We'll just cook some more of that up. I uh, got some copper here. What we're going to do... Oh, Jesus. Uh, we're going to make some wire. 
and this wire is going to be good to make a circuit board. So we got this circuit board. We're going to put some uh, some gears down. We're going to put some flint down. We're going to put some cobblestone down. Put machine block. Okay, what did I do wrong? Uh, machine block, cobblestone, flint, and circuit. So we got that. Um, Let's try this again. Oops, flint, cobblestone, machine block, circuit. Oh, I guess I just did it wrong the first time. I've got an extractor, I've got a macerator. Uh, let's see about a generator. Um, just a regular generator for now. We'll get the recipe for it. We need a battery machine block and a furnace. We have some refined iron. Um, I don't I'm not entirely sure. Let's let's search for battery. Already bat whoops. Uh Jesus. So regular battery is tin, redstone, and a copper cable. And of course we're at cables again per usual. Um, grab some cables, grab some copper, and oh god, it was one of those, some of these, and then it was filled with redstone. Okay, then we have to... Hmm. I don't know what you do to, to turn one of these into one of these. Um, I guess it's the same as tin, that's tin ingot, oh, I guess there's two kinds of tin, whatever. Um, uh, I guess I need a, huh, I don't really know. Coal dust, redstone, and copper cable. And I'm going to need a bat box eventually. Uh, RE battery. Yeah, screw it. We'll, we'll make a bat box. Uh, what was it? Was it this? Oh no, it was, it was three batteries. Oh god, I don't have enough materials to make that many batteries, do I? Oh, of course I do. Um. So it was like that, and then there was a cable on top, and then it was all just all wood. Oh god, that box. And then we needed a generator, which was this. And three of those. God, I'm running out of refined iron already. I didn't even do anything. Oh god, and generator. Alright, so now we got our extractor, our macerator, and our generator. Let's go plonk these down. This is pretty safe, this area over here. Um, I'm just going to put down... I, I stole a torch from somewhere. A uh, creeper blew up. Blew up one of my rubber trees. Son of a bitch. Um, fortunately, spiders can, are, are the only things that can get in here. And spiders, relatively harmless uh, at the end of the day. So I'm not terribly concerned. Some dark spots over there. Oh god, there's a creeper even. So, first things first, planning. One thing I see all too often is, is folks kind of going into building their little bits and pieces of... Actually, I'm going to close this off and I'll, I'll just make a door. But for now, I'll just, I'll just cut a hole in the wall. Smash that. Whatever. We'll fix that up later. Um, what I'll do is over on this side, this will be power, and then over here we'll do all the fun stuff with our machines. So we need a generator. Oh, there's our generator. And we need... Uh, I guess our bat box is going to go right next to it. So we'll put our generator down. Put our bat box down. Um, right there. 
And our generator, uh, we're gonna have to put a some kind of fuel in it, something we lack in, oh, I guess we have coal. Uh, uh, put some copper cable, I guess. I know there's something like this, this, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, all right, and I guess over here we'll, we'll put down extractor, macerator, extractor, macerator, and uh, I guess we're going to need batteries because we don't really have any wiring done. Oh god, I'm gonna make some more batteries. This is so tiring. Uh, oh, and I don't even have any... Oh, god damn it. I don't have any um, wire left. Any copper cable. Okay, so now we got some copper cables. Get some redstone. We need two batteries. And what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, stick some coal in, we're going to put some batteries up in the top. Oh, look at you. Ha! Huh. You mad, bro? You mad you can't get to me? Oh, yeah, you mad. And so, oh, I don't understand what's happening. Oh, oh, it went over here. So I could put these guys, maybe. Oh god, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, one at a time, one at a time. Oh, that was it. That was all the power I got out of that. I'll put a few more in here. All the electricity is going straight out of the generator through this wire and to slowly charging up this battery. Um. Redstone. I don't even know what that button does. Okay, so that battery is almost fully charged. Now that box is storing its own power. That's pretty cool. Hey, bro. You mad? You mad you can't get to me? Oh, you mad. So then what I'm going to do, since I got so much stuff to macerate, Um, we'll, we'll take care of this. Uh, I'll, I'll take care of it a different time. Uh, we're going to need a lot of iron. I'm going to start making some uh, uh, some armor so I don't get my ass kicked. Uh, that's the extractor. Here's the macerator. I'll just plonk the iron up at the top, put the battery in the bottom. And uh, it's going to go in... Oh, God, it's so loud. Such a loud machine. Oh, there's so many creepers, too. Oh, oh, oh. oh, this is beautiful. That's a beautiful way of killing creep some creepers. So, Macerator, Macerate. We can take these. Um, actually, I'm gonna leave them in there, and then you know what? For next time, uh, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna end the episode here. Next time, uh, we're gonna go and we're gonna we're gonna actually smelt these, and it's gonna be a good time. So uh, anyway, thanks for joining me. Uh, it's been fun, and I've enjoyed having you. Uh, like if you liked, and subscribe if you want to see me piss around a little bit more. All right, thanks guys. Have a good night.